what's up, it's me, Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So today's video is going to be my yearly stats. I can't believe the day I'm filming this is December 31st. So when you see this, it will be 2023. That is crazy. But let's get started on my year in books. So according to Goodreads, I read 38,239 pages and 120 books. My goal this year was 30 books, and then I upped it to 40 books early on in the year. So I tripled my reading goal, which I am very proud of. The shortest book I read was Sugar Rush by Erin Nicholas, which was 49 pages. The longest book I read was Winter by Marissa Meyer, which was 832 pages. And the average book length I read in 2022 was 318 pages. The most popular book I read was The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And the least popular book I read was How to Survive a Scandal by Christine Merrill. My average rating was 4.3 stars. And the highest rated book on Goodreads I read this year was The Mistletoe Favor by Jill Kemmerer, which has an average rating of 4.53 stars. My first review I wrote this year was to, for Starry Skies Over the Chocolate Pot Cafe by Jessica Redland. I wrote, I really enjoyed this book. It was so compelling and tugged at my heartstrings. And the most recent and the last review I wrote of the year was for Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. I wrote, this was a true enemies to lovers romance. It follows two characters who are children of rivaling mafias. When she said his house on fire, I was absolutely sold this was going to be a true enemies to lovers book. Ada and Callum were such good characters and they had the best banter. I definitely recommend this book to anyone looking for a dark mafia enemies to lovers romance. The oldest book or the book that was published the longest ago was the, that I read this year was The Great Gatsby, which was published in 1925. I read four books in January, and my stats are a bit messed up because I didn't start Goodreads until April. So February and March, it says I have nothing, but I think they may have got tagged on to January or something, but anyways, Four books in January, zero in February, zero in March, seven in April, seven in May, ten in June, thirteen in July, seventeen in August, ten in September, eleven in October, fifteen in November, and get ready for this, twenty-six in December, because I read a lot of novellas, but still, twenty-six books in a one month. That's crazy. And so those are my stats. I can't believe that this is the end of 2022. And that is just crazy. But that is my year in books according to Goodreads. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed before you go. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications and I'll see you all next time. Bye.